And Maxwell spoke with that teacher's attorney, and Ann is here live at 7 on Main tonight with a lot more on this, Ann. Amy, that attorney says he believes this is a problem across the state, so they're trying to get other teachers on board for a class action suit. Attorney John Reckenbile says when schools in South Carolina are underfunded, teachers have to pay. I think it's rampant. He filed a lawsuit on behalf of a former Cherokee County teacher last week. That teacher said she had to work concession stands at athletic events for hours. Reckenbile says that kind of non academic work falls outside of teachers' contracts and they should be compensated accordingly. What do you hope comes of this suit? Number one, that the teachers are paid what they're entitled to. The suit also accuses the district of violating the law by making teachers spend their own money in order to do their jobs. When you do not receive that money free and clear, where you are required to give it off to the third party at the direction of your employer, that's a kickback. That's what Reckonbile says happened when his client had to spend 60 to $80 each year on gift baskets for a PTA auction. And he says that's just one example of teachers having to spend their salaries on classroom supplies. Pencils and uh, pencil sharpeners, clocks, staplers, things that you would think when you went into a job that would be there for you. The president of the South Carolina Education Association says it's a huge problem across the state and many teachers have to pay for the basics. She also claims work outside of the classroom is often used as a bartering chip for teachers. Oh, well, that can get you some more copies if you go to the basketball game tonight. That's just wrong. It's wrong on so many levels. The district declined to comment, saying they have not been served in this case yet. Amy. Thank you, Ann. That attorney, by the way, will have to get approval from a judge to make this into a class action suit. He says that decision will probably be made within the next few months. South Carolina's